Hey guys, so today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be sharing another hair routine with you. This is one that I had posted the results of on Instagram. So if you are not following me on there, you totally should. This is what we are aiming for today. Curly hair is finicky, so may not look exactly like that today, but we're gonna try our best. We are going to be using the Olaplex number no. three treatment. I used this years ago and just started back up again because my hair definitely takes a beating in the summer. I'm in the sun a lot, I'm in the ocean, I'm washing my hair constantly, so using something like Olaplex will really help to um, give me back that curl definition. So let's hop into this. But before that, don't forget to subscribe. You can also go ahead and hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time that I upload. Let's get into it. So as I mentioned, we are going to be using the Olaplex number no. three. This is just a small sample size that I have. And with this, you want to apply it before you actually shampoo your hair. The first thing I'm going to do is dampen my hair with some water and it is super knotty, so it should be real fun. I'm just sectioning my hair off um, so I can really get each section wet. And I'm just using my continuous spray bottle. I will link a similar one from Amazon. This one in particular is from Curl Keeper. Let's make sure we get every inch. And your hair just has to be damp. It doesn't have to be soaked or anything. So now that my hair is damp, I can go ahead and put in the Olaplex treatment. You want to apply this from scalp all the way to ends and like a generous amount. And again, I'm just applying this in sections to make sure that I get all of my hair. I'm taking like about this much per section. I'm definitely ready for a haircut. I can always tell when my ends get very like knotty, like just like bright at the ends, like when the knots are all here. You can always tell it's time for a trim. So I'm just throwing my hair up now. I'm going to let this sit for like 10 minutes. Then I'm going to hop in the shower to shampoo and condition my hair. I will show you guys when I come back what I use for that and then we will get on to the styling. All right guys, so I am back. I am out of the shower. Um, I have been testing out the Kristen S Daily Cleansing Shampoo and the Deep Treatment Mask. So that is what I use to wash my hair today. So you guys know I like to wrap my hair up in a towel before I actually start styling and then just re-wet my ends. I find that it's very helpful in achieving volume at the root because the root kind of does get a little bit of a chance to dry as opposed to being like soaked and slicked down to my head. So what we're going to need for this hair routine today is a brush. I like the Denman brush. I did add all of my rows back in, so there are nine full rows in here. I also have a clip to section my hair, my water bottle again to add a little bit of moisture back into my ends. And then for a leave-in hydrating product, I'm going to be using the Kristen S curl leave-in cream and then for my gel i'm going to be using the main choice crystal orchid biotin infused styling gel so again i'm going to section my hair off by the way if you have really thick curly hair i'm gonna link this clip for you i just picked it up from target it holds all of my hair so well first things first we are going to spray water on the ends of our hair so the sections we're working with are pretty small so i'm going to take I'm going to take a few sprays and rake this through my hair. I'm not somebody who needs a ton of creams, leave-ins. Even though this is a spray and it's lighter, I still don't need a lot of it because my hair does get weighed down pretty easily. From here, we're going to brush out our sections and distribute the product. And you really want to make sure that you're brushing directly at the root and you're brushing upwards and away. Brushing up and away from the root like that is really, really going to help you with volume as well. And my hair texture is kind of funny because I know a lot of people's curls will start to activate when they come out of the Denman brush. Mine don't really do that right away, and that's totally fine. So if your hair doesn't do that either, don't worry about it. We are going to go back in and scrunch um, in a little while with the gel anyway. When I get to the top section, I do like to take this front section here and I clip this off. You also want to make sure you're focusing the product on the ends of your hair and then whatever is left over you can bring up. So here you can see we're really brushing at the root. Okay now when we get to the front section I like to keep all of my hair facing forward and then when I brush it I'll brush it up and then push it back. It's kind of similar to my little root hack tip if you guys haven't seen that video. I can link it so you guys can watch it. It's basically like the easiest thing you can do to get root volume. Okay, so we're going to then take sections of hair 
like this and really brush brush up the root also since my bangs are like non-existent and pretty grown out i don't really have to do anything with them so i just kind of treat them as part of my hair and i don't section them off or anything so now we do have all of the curl cream distributed so i am seeing little areas in my hair where it's starting to dry see like here so i'm just going to hit that with a little more water this way no frizz has formed before we go in with our gel to create a cast on our hair so we're going to take our gel and i'm not going to section my hair off or anything i like to apply this kind of by like sliding it over my hair and once i've totally done that i will take a little bit more gel like just a tiny bit flip my head over and then scrunch. So from here, I am going to let my hair air dry for a while. I will check back in soon with you guys. I might end up diffusing right at the end. It does help if you are looking for max definition, at least it does for me. I know that's not the case for everybody, but using the diffuser at the end really like seals in that curl. So we'll see how we are doing as our hair is air drying. Yeah, so I will see you soon. <laughs> guys so you just saw me finish diffusing my hair and I wanted to hop on here real quick share a little tip with you guys I don't diffuse my hair to 100% dryness it's like about 85 90% dry so I do like to let my hair settle I like to let it dry completely and then we can go in and we can shake things up and really finish off the look so we're back our hair is dry it is settled now we're going to put the finishing touches on our style. If you are trying to maintain definition, you really just want to focus on your roots and shake from here. This will help with the volume at your root, um, in addition to the other things that we have done, such as brushing our roots up um, and diffusing upside down, you know, like little things like that. You can already see that's made a bit of difference. So now, um, I actually don't have too much gel to scrunch out. There's a little bit of a cast, not anything crazy, but I am going to take a little bit of this bread uh, hair oil. I'm just going to use this to scrunch the crunch out of my hair. From here, you can obviously add any other products that you want, whether you like to use some sort of hairspray to hold your curl, whatever. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is go in with the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, just because I love this product. It's ready to get volume without anything too heavy on your hair. guys so that is going to finish up this hair routine i hope that you found this helpful learned a few new tricks tips discovered some new products i don't know or maybe just like hanging out with me and in that case thank you so much for doing that as well i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day a wonderful week and i will see you next time bye guys